at a time. Thank you. <laughs> uh, no. Imagine 56 years in a very structured framework. 56 years, my husband and I have been alive, 20 of those together <clears throat> in a very structured framework. We don't really embrace change very well. <laughs> and we've never been outside of North America. So we decided to plan a European cruise. The, because we're both project managers, we looked at this trip through the lens of risk management. 12, <laughs> 12 day cruise, nine stops, two days at sea, four countries. And when you're managing risk, you look at it through three, uh, you really isolate risk three ways. Through the known knowns, things you know. So we knew we were going to England, and those things we knew were driving on the different side of the road, looking the right way when you cross the street. Getting into Ireland, Scotland, and France, we knew we had some known unknowns, language barrier, the type of food we would eat, the weather we would encounter. And finally, you have unknown unknowns. In the business, we call those black swans, those things that swoop in and kill all of your best laid plans. So you can imagine my anxiety on the way to England Please don't let anything go wrong with this trip. Please don't let us have any black swans. Let it be a good trip, our first time out of the country. I was very, very nervous. When we got to England, our first few stops, the island of Guernsey, the sun was shining. We went to Liverpool, saw the Beatles, home of the Beatles, really beautiful country. All of those known knowns were pretty much there and we encountered them comfortably. Then we moved into Ireland and the first known unknown, weather. Now they call weather, they call their rain about 1200 different things. There's drizzle, whizzle, nizzle, shizzle, whatever it is that day, they have a word for it. And it wasn't too bad, we encountered it well. But what you get from that is a backdrop of gorgeous greenery like I have never seen the Emerald Isle, they call it, for good reason. Undulating, rolling hills for miles. Cows grazing, sheep grazing, the calm of it, just the absolute beauty everywhere we went. Dunleary, Dublin, Cove, all these adorable counties, Tipperary County, we saw the Rock of Cashel, which has this incredible history. All of the various cathedrals and um, castles that we saw really started to lower that anxiety level for me. Then we moved into Scotland and weather really became an issue now. So I was wearing things like this, which work on a day like we have today, but not when we're in very heavy winds, cold and very deliberate rain at that point. So I had to pivot a bit being a project manager and invest in some lovely Scottish wool, some cashmere, and some great shopping we did there. So now we're looking at another known unknown was the food, haggis. I really was committed to trying haggis. <laughs> Has a reputation, and I will say it was my favorite meal of all 12 days. No kidding. Haggis with tatties and neeps. I did it. But the ultimate thing I learned about Scotland is the people are incredible. Warm, inviting, funny. The accent, the lilt, the way they speak. Our hop on hop off bus had a tour guide who said, I'm here to bore you to tears for an hour and a half. And that's literally the sense of humor that we encountered the whole time. So enjoyable. So now I'm starting to really let my hair down. I'm relaxing. And I say to the universe, if anything really bad happens now, I'm okay. I'm satisfied. I've had a good trip thus far. And so what do you think the universe 
said to me, well, let's just try you out on a black swan, shall we? So I'm two days from France, the ultimate destination, and I feel a little tickle in my throat at St. Andrews, the home of golf, my husband's favorite part of the trip, by the way. I feel a little tickle, and by the time we get back to the ship, I'm in full blown, I'm, I'm sick, I have a cold. The next day at sea, I spend the entire day in bed getting a COVID test, there is no way I'm going to Paris. There is no way. So I'm really, really disappointed. However, I realized that I can still make the most of France. So when we docked in Le Havre, which is just outside of Normandy, still rich with World War II history, still a lovely port, we did about one square kilometer tour of Le Havre. I was able to test out my known unknown around language. <laughs> My high school French came in really handy. We had a little lunch, we had a nice day. And all in all, it was a black swan, but it wasn't a disaster. So what did I learn from all this? I learned that you can plan and plan and plan, but you'll never be able to avoid risk entirely. It's the journey, it's not the destination. And ultimately, I was able to move some unknown knowns into my box of known knowns. And I intend to do that even more, one country at a time. Thank you.